Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll be learning how we can use Smart PLS 4 to test the moderating effects. In the previous video, we have already learned how we use Smart PLS 4 software for testing mediation. And I taught you three different uh, approaches of testing mediation using Smart PLS. In this video, we'll be focusing on testing moderation. But before moving to the software, we shall learn some basic concepts. The first thing is how many different methods are available to test the moderation in Smart PLS or any other software. Generally, if we categorize moderating effect, it can be tested based on two different methods. The first one is called group analysis. And the condition for using group analysis is very simple when your data is uh, dichotomous or the variable, a moderating variable is dichotomous in nature or categorical in nature, means that you can create groups from the data. In this case, you can use group analysis. For example, here the gender is a moderator and in this case, uh, we have a gender as a dichotomous variable which can be divided into two different groups, male and female. So if we can divide the data into the groups, it is very obvious we can use group analysis to test moderating effects. But today I'll be focusing more on the second form of this uh, moderation effect testing, which is interaction effect. We use interaction effect when our scales or our variables are latent in nature or we have continuous data. For example, here I have one example of internet usage as a moderator and this internet usage has been uh, measured or tapped through four different items or questions. That's why it is a latent construct. And these items or uh, questions have been measured through uh, Likert scales or um, rating scale or any other scale we can use for that, but continuous in nature. So that's why we'll be using interaction effect. Let me clarify this with the help of one example, how we can test the interaction effect and what interaction effect exactly are. For example, here I have social media marketing as an independent variable that affects the sales. But in most of the cases, if internet usage is high, our hypothesis is this, when the high internet usage, the relationship between social media marketing and sale will be getting more stronger. So that's very simple hypothesis for any moderating effect. But how to test it uh, statistically? So what we do, we try to analyze another effect. We call it interaction effect, which is not available in this uh, model now. So how we create that interaction effect is basically we introduce another variable. We call it interaction or we call it interaction term and sometimes we call it interaction effect. So this is another variable which basically is being created with the help of these two independent variable, which is social media marketing and internet usage, which has been used as an independent variable in this model. So this product term or interaction effect can be created with many different methods, but uh, the good thing about the Smart PLS software, it calculate this interaction effect automatically and we don't need to do any calculation. Before Smart PLS, we were using other softwares and we were creating these terms uh, by multiplying the standard uh, effects of or uh, standard values of all these variables and their each item. So that was a very complex and lengthy process. And then we have multiple methods of these calculation for this product term. But thanks to Smart PLS 4, it, it made our work very easy and we can uh, calculate this interaction effect uh, uh, based on just one click. Okay, so this is interaction effect. So what we are interested in basically, if the interaction effect is significant, we can say that the variable have a specific moderating effect, special uh, when the p-value is less than 0. 0 0.5, we can claim that the moderating effect exists because the interaction effect is significant. So this is the general theory behind testing the uh, moderating effect. 
Let's understand the concept of moderating effect using interaction term with the help of graph. Here I have social media marketing as an independent variable and sales as a dependent variable and there is a positive relationship between these two variables. If I represent them on a graph, there would be a line with a positive slope that represent the positive relationship between uh, social media marketing and sale. Uh, but for now, there is no interaction effect uh, between these two variables. So let's introduce our interaction effect and try to calculate uh, the relationship between social media marketing and sales with the presence of interaction effect or uh, with the presence of uh, internet usage. So if we check the relationship between social media marketing and sales has been changed while we introduce the interaction effect that represent the when the high internet usage there is more positive relationship between social media marketing and sales there is an increased strength of relationship which can be represented by the increase of slope between these two variables and that's uh, where we can say that there is a significant interaction effect or moderating effect of internet usage between the relationships of, of social media marketing and sales. In another case, if we check the relationship between the social media marketing and sales after introducing our interaction effect, it is still same. It means that with the high internet usage, there is no uh, increase in the relationship between social media marketing and sales because the slope of the line is same in that case we can say that uh, there is no interaction effect and we can establish that there is no moderating effect between the relationship of social media marketing and sales so means that internet usage do not moderate the relationship between social media marketing and sales so this is the normal explanation of a moderating effect. Now let's move to Smart PLS 4 and try to uh, learn how we can do this in the software. Now I'm in Smart PLS 4 software and uh, this is a model where I have three independent variables, social media marketing, blogging and search engine optimization and they affect the sales. And internet usage is a moderating effect. So first thing first, I'm going to connect this internet usage with the sales. So uh, with this, everything turns blue. It means that we are good to go and all these uh, latent constructs are connected. Now we need to add moderating effect. In Smart PLS 4, it's very simple. We just need to click here in the moderating effect and then we need to click on the moderator and click on the line or the relationship between independent and dependent so it shows a dotted line which represents the moderating effect or interaction effect so that's it done we are good to go with the moderated analysis so first we need to check whether these moderating effects are significant or not for that we'll check the p-values of these moderating effect and we can go ahead and click on the bootstrapping and then we can use 2000 as a uh, rule of thumb and then uh, start calculation so once these calculations are being done we can analyze okay now we have these results so we can see that uh, the first interaction effect which is 0 0.074 is the path coefficient and 0 0.021 is the p-value which is less than 0 0.05 it means that this one is significant and the rest of the two uh, p-values are greater than 0 0.05 which indicate insignificant effect of uh, internet usage or interaction effect of internet usage between the relationship of blogging and sales and search engine optimization and sales. So from here we can open the report, click here, open report and then we can click on the path coefficient and now you can see that these three interaction effects are here. The first one is internet usage and social media marketing, the interaction effect with the sales. So the res result indicates that the p-value is 0 0.21, which is less than 0 0.05 and it is in green. It means that this 
interaction effect is significant while the rest of the two interaction effects they are insignificant uh, that indicates there is no moderation uh, of internet usage between the blogging and sale and also interact internet usage is not moderating the effect between social media uh, search engine optimization and sales now this is very simple uh, method of testing moderation in smart PLS but we also wanted to analyze the slope effect so we can test this by using this PLS SEM algorithm click here and just click start calculations so once the calculation is being done we can go to open report and from this open report you can click here on the simple slope analysis now this slope analysis is showing us all three interaction effects so you can see that this is a graph for interaction effect between internet usage and social media marketing this is interaction effect and the dependent variable is sales and independent variable is social media marketing now these three lines are showing us uh, the presence of internet usage at three different levels the red one is telling us internet usage at minus one standard deviation which is low then we have mean standard uh, mean internet usage the blue line shows the effect between social media marketing and sales while the internet usage is at mean and then we have internet usage at high which shows the green now from here as you remember uh, as i showed you in the graphical form the slope has been increased so we can see that there is an increase of slope and these lines are not parallel they are interacting with each other at some point in that case in, it indicates the significance of uh, interaction effect or significance of uh, moderation now if we look into the others the second one it almost a parallel line which indicates that there is no moderating effect of internet usage between the sales of blogging uh, between the relationship of blogging and sales and similarly we can see that there is no uh, moderating effect of internet usage between the relationship of seo and sale from here we can analyze uh, in a very simple way uh, with the help of these slopes that uh, interaction effect is significant or not so these are two important indicators which we can use in our uh, papers and also in our thesis and i have already explained to you how we can uh, test the moderation effect in uh, smart pls4 where we need to test the interaction effect if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 which indicates that the moderating effect is significant in this model we can uh, understand that only one moderation is significant where it means that internet usage moderates the relationship between social media marketing and sales while internet usage do not moderate the relationship between blogging and sales and search engine, engine optimization and sales so this is it this is how we test moderating effect in smart pls thank you and have a very very nice day